All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. As you uh, may know, if you've watched recent videos, I've been doing a lot of uh, just kind of messing around with going medieval, trying to learn the different systems in the game and experimenting with different things. Speaking of experimenting, um, you know, I can't even really tell you what happened here to um, to the roof of this house, but something did happen. We've tried to salvage it with. Uh, you know, some defensive ideas here, but it's really not very practical. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to cover in this video as I've been, again, sort of experimenting with different things is um, how to create a space where your items, specifically your food items, um, won't spoil as quickly. As you can tell, we are currently in summer in terms of the season. And so the temperature goes up quite a bit and things tend to spoil very quickly if you have them in a regular uh, zone, a regular stockpile zone that even one like this, I mean, we could close this in and make it an inside building, but it still would be too hot. There's obviously no air conditioning happening here. First of all, we need to go ahead and take off the roof element so we can better see what's going on. Um, but anyway, so we have a lot of items just stored in here. So this may be, I mean, I think initially for what it's worth tip wise, when you first get going, you do want to build a roof over your stockpile until you can get a more permanent solution because that will help make sure that it's on a wooden floor. You can see this is a floor, not just on the ground and go ahead and stick a roof on it. Even if you don't close it in to make it a building, you can actually use between just the, you know, having one pillar in every corner um, and then you can also use the supports. So right from the beginning, you get the ability to do wooden beams. And that way you can go ahead and support this little square structure, put a roof over it. That'll help some things last a little longer. You don't start in summer, so they're still going to be decaying, but they won't be decaying as fast. But ultimately what you want to do is you want to build a uh, underground storage area. So I'm going to show you what I've got going here. And then I'll sort of describe other ways you could do this. So because we're playing on a fairly hilly map, it's not a full on mountainous map, but it is very hilly. So we've got lots of changes in elevation. What I decided to do was, let me see if I can get the camera so you can actually see. I actually built down to make an underground uh, storage area with you know plenty of earth on top of it and I use the elevation change to make this a little bit easier to do although I'm like I said I'll show you in a minute how you could do this without the elevation so to do any kind of digging you actually use the mine command which you can click on this in the bottom right hand side of the screen or you can hit in and then select what you want to have your workers mine um, but now let's go ahead and take a look what this underground room looks like. You can see that it is walled in, so it's protected from the elements on this side. There's a door right there. Uh, you, you know, we built the stairs down, so we're just talking about one level here. Uh, and so then if we hold control and we start doing our mouse wheel, I don't know if you can see it, but in the top left-hand side of the screen, it says 11.5 out of 16, we're going to go down to 4 and then ultimately down to 3.5. Uh, actually, I think it's 3. So there's 3.5. So what you're doing is you're going down what layer you're seeing, right? So at 3, you can see my little storeroom. So anything above that, you're seeing the ground. Uh, if we look over at this house here, where's the house? So we've got a two-story house here, right? So eventually you get down... 6.5, 6 is the floor of the upper upper level, and then 5.5, we can see the bottom level of this house. And then if we go down to 4.5, we're looking at the stone or, or ground underneath what we've built. Well, back to our storeroom here, we're going to get back down to 3, and I'm going to rotate around so you can see this. So, um, what we have, okay, so actually, why is that actually don't remember okay so this is just some material in the earth I've just never noticed that before anyway uh, at least down here okay so this is our storeroom again recognize that we do have a wooden floor you also you don't want it to be on the ground you still want to build a wooden floor down here we also have the beams to support this if you don't do that you run the risk of, of uh, things collapsing right so you want to put these support beams I think every three or so squares 
it's worth having a support beam. So like if we continue to build forward, like it's, you know, and we probably would want to, what I would do next is go ahead and have my workers mine the next level here. And truthfully, what I may do is that as I extend this, I may go down another level. So have them mine that out and then have them mine the dirt underneath it out and then put more stairs and go a whole nother level below. And that'll be sort of our, our deepest cooling area because as you'll notice in the summer, I think we're still gonna see some, um, let me right click out of this. I think we're still gonna see some, maybe not, let's check the meat. Okay, I guess we're good. So it's labeling this a spare room because again, we do have a door. It's got the, uh, the flooring. I mean, the roof is technically the earth above it. So everything is fresh and none of it is, is degrading. If it was gonna be degrading in here, it would give us that, that notification. I don't know why this is here. Oh, it's because we had it on forbid so they couldn't come pick it up. So now somebody will come pick it up, move it to the stockpile that it belongs. But so this is where we're keeping our food, right? And this way that will last through the summer. And then we also, we can use the summer as an opportunity to continue to grow plants or hunt for meat so that when we get to the winter, potentially, we've got enough food to uh, last, right? Okay, so that is just a snapshot of what I have done to make this. But now let me show you if you're playing on a flatter map, or if, let's just say you don't want to use the elevation. Another thing you could do, so like this is our current, our initial storeroom, right? Um, where if I click on like the hay, it's not decaying. None of this is stuff that decays, even with the hot summer heat. None of the um, you know cabbage seed bag, salt pile, none of this stuff is going to decay even though it's in the heat. Now it's out of it's in the shade and it's on the ground or it would decay, but um, but for food, anything like that that's going to decay, even like let's say you hunt and you kill a deer, but you're not able to immediately process it and turn it into meat, you can store it in your deeper area where the temperature is low enough where you're not going to lose that stuff. So. Um, if you are wanting to just do um, create your own storage area, really all you need to do is mine out an area. So you'll see it, it'll turn yellow like this. I think if I was doing it, I would start with just one row like this and then, and maybe even a fifth one. And then this would be um, the place where I would put the stairs, right? So then I'd come over here and I would build the stairs you can use F or R to flip it around and you'll build it. Once it's dug out, you'll be able to build it down a level and coming up to the top so that they can get down and then continuing to dig all this out. What you want to be careful of is someone not somehow getting trapped down there, right? So I always put the stairs as quickly as I can. And then once you have this area completely dug out, you'll put a floor on the bottom and then you can put a floor on the top to serve as the roof, right? But you won't be able to cover the stairs part, but at least this, this section will have this, the, the roof on top of it. And again, you probably wanna use some wooden beams down there to, um, you know, between, just to have some support so that the, the roof doesn't fall in on it. Uh, but even this one spot down with the stairs going down into this area, even that will protect your food and stuff for much longer than just having it out in the open like this. Now, during the summer, I think you'll still get degradation. Uh, you'll still be losing stuff over time, just one level down. But it's slow enough that um, you could probably make it that way. Uh, you'll probably be eating stuff quick enough where you're not losing too much. But if you're trying to really prep for the winter or get a lot of cooking done in advance and you're gonna to wanna to be more than just one slot down. But remember, once you get this first area built, just like I was talking about doing in my underground section, you could then go down a whole nother level and then at that point you probably wanna separate it by a door and really room, you know, frame in the next le level down because it's gonna be then two layers under the earth, right? And so, as long as you put supports in, you should be good. And then you'll have a whole nother level down. Is that going to be enough in the summer for, for there to be no, um, 
you know, no spoilage at all. I'm not sure. I haven't done enough testing to see just how far you have to go if you're starting from the surface like this, but I suspect it would if I'm getting, you know, the results I'm getting over in my little spot here. Uh, I feel like at, um, at two levels down, you should probably be good because again, our food down here is, is not, you know, it's, it's hundred percent fresh. It's not spoiling at all. There is a way to see the temperature that it's sitting at, but here's, I'm, oh yeah, room temperature, 3.6 degrees. I mean, that's like refrigerator temperature, right? Uh, I don't, I don't use Celsius in everyday life, but I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's pretty cold. That might even be a, a degree or something cooler than the fridge. Um, so the room content is, this shows you what's in here. And again, none of it's going to be spoiling. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful. Again, I am still exploring this game. So there may be more efficient ways to, to do this. Certainly if you go to the research and you start researching how to preserve food, um, you eventually get to, you know, ice making. I mean, there's probably ways packed meal again, stuff that might allow you to, um, you know, to, to take advantage of other technologies as you research, but right from the start, this is a method you can use to go ahead and create some underground storage to allow the temperatures of the earth underneath the ground to work to your benefit so that you don't lose as much food. This game is tough enough. I'm finding with all the, the attacks and, uh, just the random stuff that can happen to your settlers that uh, we don't need to be suddenly without food because everything has spoiled out in the sun. So anyway, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And as I continue to experiment again, I might discover even more efficient ways of taking care of this problem. But for now, um, this will hopefully get you going. I, I should mention that this can take quite a while. Um, I guess it probably helps if you happen to have gotten a starting um, villager that is very proficient in mining. So they'll fail less often and perhaps go at a little bit faster pace. Um, but either way, it's going to take some time to build even just this one section out. It's going to take some time. It certainly took me some time to um, create this little station, although using the elevation change from the earth, it went faster than it would have to get to such an efficient uh, temperature. Uh, for storing food. So it's worth the time it takes though, because if you don't address this problem again, the need for food is going to always be pressing as things spoil and go away. Okay. Yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. I know I'm certainly enjoying exploring this game. I think it's got a really good mix of, um, you know, tension and difficulty, some RPG elements with your different stories for different villagers that are popping up. Uh, but also just really fun. I mean, the main, obviously, main thrust of the game is just the idea of like trying to build a village in medieval times, uh, attract other citizens to come join and then, you know, getting researching further technologies and seeing if you can move to, I mean, we've still got wood and everything. The next step, you know, we're starting to get this, um, this uh, stonemason's bench going, a kiln going. So sort of exploring with like, okay, what will it be like for us to start trying to use stone and other uh, products to make some more, um, some structures that will defend better. Um, and, and obviously we also want to get all of this stuff out in the open. I mean, one of the things that when a raiding party comes, unless you engage them immediately, they immediately start just destroying your <laughs> production stuff, like your campfire and other stuff. So anyway, I am enjoying it. Hope you are too. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if this was helpful or if there's other questions you have and I will catch you next time.